Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I'm here today to talk about torticollis, but specifically to look at what side torticollis your infant has. This is one of our most commonly asked questions and the reason for it is it's really confusing which side torticollis your infant has. When we're talking about torticollis, the important thing to remember is that there's two different movements we're looking at, and those typically are opposite of each other. So the first movement we're looking at is the lateral bending or the tilt, and the second movement is the cervical rotation. So when we're looking at what side torticollis your infant has, your infant always follows the side of the tilt. So I'm gonna show you this in two different ways. First, I'm gonna show you straight on holding an infant in my lap so you can orient yourself. Your right hand will be the baby's right hand. Um, and I'm also gonna put a glove on during this video and I'm gonna keep it on my right hand. So you can always orient your body to my right hand to understand the sides a little bit better. And then in a second, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around with my back towards the camera and I'm gonna show you on myself what the different sides of torticollis is so that you can try it on yourself and make it more transferable to your baby. But understand it is really tricky, so just slow down and look at what your infant is doing. That's gonna give you the most information. So when we're looking at the tilt, if your infant is tilting towards the left-hand side, they're typically gonna be a left tilt with a right rotation. This is left torticollis. So in left torticollis, the ear is closer to the shoulder. In right torticollis, this is my right hand, my gloved hand, the right ear is closer to the shoulder and there's a rotation to the left hand side, okay? Now I'm gonna show you on my body really quickly. So again, this is my right hand. So for left torticollis, my head is tilted towards the left and turned to the right hand side. And for my right torticollis, my head is tilted towards the right, that right ear towards the right shoulder and rotated to the left. Okay. So now let's talk about what exercises you do for which side of torticollis. And again, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because once you've figured out your side of torticollis, you're then going to stretch in the opposite direction. So let's break that down and talk through what that means. So let's go back to if your infant has left torticollis. So tilt to the left hand side, rotation to the right hand side. When you're thinking about it, the tight muscle is the muscle on the side of the tilt where the ear is closest to the shoulder. This is what's tight. So what we wanna do is we wanna go in the opposite direction. So when we're talking about our football hold, if this is what they prefer, what we're going to do is we are going to stretch in the opposite direction, okay? So for left torticollis, you would be holding down the left shoulder and going towards the right hand side for your lateral bending exercise. For left torticollis, typically that's the right turn preference. So you are going to be working on turning to the left hand side. Okay, so for right torticollis, so we would have a tilt towards the right, rotation towards the left. When you're doing that football hold, you're gonna be holding down the right shoulder and bending towards the left, okay? And remember right torticollis, which is bend to the right, rotation to the left. What you're gonna be working on is rotation towards the right hand side, okay? When you're working on putting your infant on the floor, if you prefer to do that for your exercises, what I tend to recommend is put a different color sock on each feet or put one sock on one feet and remember that as which side. Um, so a lot of times I'll tell families, if in this video I have a glove on my right hand, I'm gonna put a sock on the baby's right foot. And then if I'm doing exercises on the floor, I can easily say, okay, right hand side and that'll orient me to what side I need to be stretching. Um, there are a lot of different ways you can do torticollis exercises. I have another video that talks through the two ways I just went through here with a little bit more details. So if you have more questions regarding specific exercises or motor masters in general for your infant, please reach out and we would be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks so much.